Hey team, welcome back to another Baseball Brain video. And in the Baseball Brain video series, we discuss strategies to help sharpen your mindset, to strengthen your beliefs, and to positively channel your emotions so you can conquer the mental game of baseball. And today's topic for the Baseball Brain is having positive self-talk. This is a very powerful video that all youth players should understand um, because baseball, it, it kind of gets in your head a little bit and kind of makes you think different things that aren't really true. So positive self-talk, let's get into it. You have now entered the baseball brain. So the first thing I wanna say with this video with positive self-talk is you have to understand that the words that you continuously say to yourself about yourself turn into your beliefs about yourself. So the things that you think, right, the things that you are saying to yourself, those then turn into your beliefs about yourself, whether it be about your character or about your talent on the field, whether you can do something or not do something. If you think something and you tell yourself whatever story or narrative that you want to tell yourself, that then turns into your belief. And how it works is there, there's a whole chain of, of events or things that happen when you have a thought, all right? And then that, how that translates into the world and kind of becomes true in the world. What happens is your beliefs they become your thoughts. Whatever you believe about yourself, they become the things that you start thinking, right? And then your thoughts become your words. So the things that you're thinking, those things are starting to come out in your words and in your speech about yourself, your self-talk. Your words become your actions. So your words, what you're saying, start to become what you actually perform and what you actually do through your actions. Your actions become your habits. So your actions, what you are doing, whether you're practicing, not practicing, those become habits of what, of kind of habitual behavior of what you do. Your habits become your values, all right? So think about a habit that you have. Hopefully a good habit you have is brushing your teeth. And then if you're brushing your teeth every day habitually, that becomes a value that you have internally. You value brushing your teeth. So your habits become your values. And then your values become your destiny, basically what is, is put out into the world and what becomes true in the world, okay? So real quick, again, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. So that's kind of the chain reaction that I was talking about where your beliefs, it goes through all of these things to be true, end up being true in the world. So that's what I want you to think about when, you're, when we're going through the rest of this video, okay? So an example is the word I can't, all right? So if you say, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't fill in the blank. If you are using the word I can't, that is a belief. That is a belief in your mind that goes through that chain reaction and ends up being true in the world, okay? So if you think about it, if you say the opposite, if you say something that I can, I can do this, then that turns into a belief which turns into your thoughts and words and goes through that whole chain reaction and ends up being true in the world, all right? So your, your self-talk that you have about yourself is so, so, so powerful. And most of the time, we, we don't even realize it. We don't even notice it or we aren't even conscious of what we're saying to ourselves and about ourselves and our abilities in this world. All right? So, it, I mean, just like it can go one way, it has just the same chance to go the other way right? Negative versus positive, right? So having positive self-talk and having positive self-beliefs about yourself is, is just so powerful in helping you achieve and accomplish what you want to accomplish in this world. So one little tip I have for you is when you have a what-if situation, let's say that you go up to bat and you say, you say to yourself, well, what if I get out? Turn every what-if situation into a positive and self-empowering situation, right? What if I get out? Well, what if you get a hit? It can go the same way, right? It can go the opposite way just like it can the negative way, right? Well, what if I make a bad throw? Well, what if you make a good throw, 
right? All of these what-if situations, I feel like we are just, just so conditioned to go the negative route of what if something bad happens. Turn that and be conscious of what you're thinking of the what-if situation and turn it into a self-empowering and a positive uh, situation or scenario, right? So what if I make a bad pitch? What if I don't show up on time? What if I do all these things? Flip it to the other side. What if you do show up on time? What if you do make a great pitch? What if you do strike that person out, right? What would happen then? And then that kind of just feeds that machine of positive self-talk and self-belief and then having it be true in the world, okay? So another tip that I have about this is the positive self-talk is eliminate the word can't from your vocabulary. Eliminate the word can't, all right? You should just really never say it. Never say that you cannot do something or never say that you can't do something, all right? Turn that word into can try. So you see C-A-N apostrophe T, eliminate the apostrophe, separate it, and say C-A-N-T-R-Y, can try, all right? Every time you say that I can't, say I can try, all right? And that will just immediately flip your mindset into, into believing that you can do something, all right? So every single time you say can't, just turn it into can try. And what this does is when you say that you can't do something, that completely, it's like an out. It's like an end point. It's like a, it closes the mind and it doesn't make you think about how you can do something because you already believe that you can't. So therefore it's, it makes it a definite. All right. And if you say that, if you get up there and you say, I can't hit this ball, then that is a, that turns into a definite. You're not thinking anymore because you already believe it's a belief. It's a fact. It's a definite. I can't hit this ball. What happens when you turn it into can try, if you say, I can try to hit this ball, that opens your mind to endless possibilities, to endless possibilities. Well, I can try to hit this ball and I can hit this ball. And, and honestly, that's what happens. It, it turns from I can try to I can, all right? And it's, it's really hard to jump from I can't to I can. So the middle ground there is I can try. All right, if you open yourself up to trying all sorts of different things and, and really trying to have positive self-talk and trying to believe that you can, that is a positive upward spiral that only turns into positive self-talk and positive outcomes in your life and on the baseball field. So turning the word can't into can try just opens up your mind to endless possibilities and helps you start believing in yourself and starts just this chain reaction of positive things happening and seeing results on the baseball field. So like I said, all of this comes down to how you speak to yourself and how you speak about yourself and your abilities. And you, it can go one of two ways. And we might as well make it the positive way to kind of give ourselves the belief that we can do it. All right, because belief is where everything starts. If you believe something, then that is, that is your core value, your belief. And we already went over how, how it has a chain reaction of being true in the world. All right, whether it be negative or positive. Now, before we go, I have a couple of quotes that I want to leave you with um, just to kind of reinforce what we've talked about today in the Baseball Brain video, okay? So the first quote is, the amount of time we spend believing that we can't is more than enough time to learn how we can. And that's basically saying, like what I talked about before is, when you say can't, that is just turns into a belief, an extended belief, and you don't have to do anything about it because it's a definite. You determined that you can't, it is a definite and can't do anything about it, right? And that quote says, the amount of time we spend believing that we can't in that time period is more than enough time to learn how we can, all right? When you say, I can try, like how can you try, right? Oh, I can practice, I can do these things, I can get better. In all of that time you spend believing that you can't and doing nothing about it is more than enough time to learn how you can accomplish something or how you can do something, all right? Now, the second quote is, you can't possibly hit the ball if you're thinking about all of the ways that you can miss, all right? And this, would, this used to be a poster that I had up in my PE class and I used to look at it every day and I, I love that quote, is it just, it just encompasses everything we're talking about um, where when you get up to the plate, if you're thinking about all of the ways that you can miss, there's no possible way you can hit that ball, 
All right, but if you're thinking to yourself, I can hit this ball, how can I hit this ball? And you're opening your mind to endless possibilities, it's gonna happen, all right? It's not gonna happen every time, but it's gonna happen. Remember, the words that you say about yourself to yourself, they turn into your beliefs, and we wanna make those things positive, all right? So I'm Coach Hart, this is Building Better Baseball. This is the best place for baseball education. Don't forget to grab your free guide down in the description. Um, I made it for you for free to help you out, all right? So feel free to grab one, grab all, grab whatever you think would be helpful. So I'll see you in another video real soon.